this is my Canon Autoboy 2 Quartz Date Camera, which I bought from Film Photography Swap Facebook page. It's an 80s model and, well, it's very lightweight if you look at it. It's made out of plastic. It's called Quartz Date because it imprints the date or time to your photos. So you need two AA batteries for this type of camera. So we can open the lens with this switch. So you just pull it to open and you just do it again to close it. To take photos, you just need to press the shutter twice. So the first shot is just focusing on the subject. The second shot will actually take your photos. You can adjust the ISO or the film speed using the lever at the bottom part of the lens. So it ranges from 25 to 400. So with film cameras, the ISO or the film speed is actually dependent on the film type. So for example, um, I have this Fuji film. C200 and it says that it should be ISO 200 so with this you need to adjust the ISO of your camera to 200 to get the best quality shots for this type of film in situations wherein the room is dark or if it's nighttime you need to use the built-in flash so before you use it this red light or bulb will blink if you need to use the flash so when it blinks when you press the shutter for the focus shot you need to pull this to release the built-in flash your next press the bulb will light up. Another good feature of this camera is that it has a self timer or P focus function over here. This feature is great when you want to be included in group photos or if you want to take a selfie using a tripod. So what you need to do is first to pull this lever, press the shutter button to compose or to focus on your subject, and then press it again and wait for 10 seconds. So you have 10 seconds to run <laughs> to that group photo. And it will automatically take the photo. In case you want to cancel the self timer, you just need to do this following steps. So you just need to close the lens and reopen it and pull the self timer lever up. Before loading the film, you must adjust the ISO or film speed according to the film's setting. For Fuji Color C200, your ISO must be 200. So you just need to adjust it. there so to load the film you need to open the back cover using the switch at the side so you just pull it so 
so you just need to insert the flat end of the film roll to this part and you need to pull the film leader across the back so that the tip is aligned with the orange line in the lower right hand corner of the film sheet. You need to secure one film hole in this lock. And then, just need to close the back part. Once you close the back part of your camera, you'll see that the default film count is at S. So you just need to press it repetitively until it reaches 1. So it's okay because the first shots are just black. So there are instances wherein my camera doesn't seem to work. Like I tried pressing the shutter but the sound doesn't come out or when I pull the lever to close or open my lens, it doesn't work. So based on my experience, um, the reason for this is that the film is jammed. So I resolved it by um, putting the camera in a dark area like literally I closed the light sources in my room I placed it inside the box and I opened the film part and I just adjusted the film so I tried pressing it and it worked but um, be mindful that the film count will return to S so I'll show the pictures of the failed shots so you might sacrifice at least one to two shots if that happens. Also when shooting, be mindful that the closest distance for this camera to produce quality shots is three feet away from your subject. It shoots from three feet until the infinite of what it can see with its lens but when it's dark it's limited to 3 feet to 15 feet 